Hey guys, welcome back to Time Drops and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little different. As many of you know, I generally review or wear sports or activity focused timepieces, but every now and then I like to switch things up. You've got to, right? And go for something a bit more in air quotes smarter, whether that be heading out for a posh dinner or a work event. But as with any timepiece, I still want it to have a strong specification and of course look awesome. So when Seagull Watches got in touch and asked me to pick one of their watches to bring on the channel to share with you, I had a little perusal through their store and chose this one, and I'll run through exactly why. So let's get into it, shall we? If you're excited to see what's in store and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join our awesome community and then sit back, relax, and we'll jump right in. Originally founded in 1955, the Seagull brand, or as they're officially known, Tianjin Seagull Watch Co, had a simple dream of building their own watch, after spending years of just repairing movements for others. And in fact, the Tianjin Watch Factory built the first Chinese watch, which would soon become the first Chinese watch for export. Seagull are world renowned for their movement creations, and in fact, it's slated that one in four mechanical watches out there feature a movement created in their factories. And timepiece wise, they're arguably most known for their 1963 model, which is a bit of a cult classic in vintage watches, a timepiece designed for pilots in the Chinese Air Force. So yeah, an awesome history and one they've continued to build on throughout. And one of their most recent releases is this one, the model known as the Seagull D819622. Rolls off the tongue. So let's start by talking price. This watch has a retail price of just $139, or just £127 in the UK, which is already very much a great price for this timepiece, and we'll get on to why. But as you can see, as of right now, the Seagull official store are making that price even better by launching a sale price ahead of the 1111 sale on AliExpress to just $102.20 or £101. So if by the end of this video you're interested in getting one yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to go check them out. But first, let's see what this watch has to offer. The Seagull D819622 features a three-tiered, round and completely polished case made from the very durable 316L stainless steel. Its crown sits proudly at 3 o'clock, marked with its S initial, which you wind forward in its first position in order to give it some charge, and pull out to the second to set the time. This has a really strong and well-constructed feel and rivets to ensure non-slip time setting, if that's a thing. Sounds like something you'd find in a supermarket. Anyway, along with the crown, you also have two buttons on either side at 4 and 8 o'clock respectively, which allow you to modify the subdials on the face. Being that these buttons are flush to the casing, these require a tool to press in, a slight bit of watch admin, but once you get it right and with regular use, not something you'll have to do too often. And taking a closer look at its dial, you'll notice that this is a lovely off-white silver colour, which, as you'll hopefully be able to see, when it hits the light has a real nice sheen to it. Is sheen a word? We'll go with it. Hopefully you know what I mean. Roman numerals wrap around its face in black as the hour markers with small dots to indicate the minutes. This looks really clean and certainly easy to read. Then at 6 o'clock you have its awesome skeleton flywheel, allowing you to look right through into its automatic ST2502 movement, which we'll take a look at in more detail shortly. One rotation of this flywheel mimics 60 seconds, trust me, I've watched it, and flipping this watch around, you'll see its detailing of model name and some features wrapped around its see-through case back, allowing you to get an even larger view of its inner workings. But its hands are what tops this design off for me. In most lights, they look to be very dark blue or even black, but get it in the right light and pow, royal blue coming at ya. I really like how this one goes somewhat understated and then the pop of colour makes it really stand out. And last but not least, adding to its durability, this dial is protected by sapphire crystal and is water resistant up to 50 meters, which is most welcome indeed. Moving on to its band, as you can see, the band is faux croc but genuine leather, with a width of 20 millimeters, a length of 21 centimeters, and a buckle to fasten, again marked with the Seagull branding. And perhaps most importantly, the automatic movement for this timepiece is of course Seagull's own, their in-house ST2502. This has 29 joules to reduce friction, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour and claims to remain up and running for approximately 45 hours when fully wound. And lastly, in terms of dimensions, this watch is a nice 42mm in width, from lug to lug it is 48mm in length and is 13mm thick and weighs approximately 84 grams. These are proportions I tend to prefer in a watch and feel that this one in particular is incredibly comfortable on the wrist, not to mention very cool to look at which brings me on nicely to my overall verdict. All in all, I really like this watch. 
Being totally honest, I wasn't sure what to expect at first, but everything from the packaging it arrives in to its construction is top quality. In terms of design, I love how the dial has a lot going on, it's somehow busy but minimal at the same time. Its exposed flywheel and blue hands on its silver-esque dial definitely make this one a real eye catcher. Plus the fact it's easy to tell what the date, day and time is on quick glance always helps. As mentioned, the strap it arrives on is also really comfy, but I can't deny I think this would look awesome on a NATO. Black would work nicely, but I think I'd be tempted to go for blue to make the accents pop even more. I also love the fact that Seagull watches are original. From their design all the way down to their movement, they're not trying to be anyone else, which I suppose is what's led them to become so successful and one of the, if not the most renowned watchmakers in China. A pretty big deal, right? And well, the price for this timepiece in particular is just bonkers. When you add up all of its design and functionality features, just over $100 for a watch with such an impressive automatic and original movement that's as durable and as good looking as this is certainly a great option if you're looking for your next timepiece. And with all that being said, that just about wraps this one up. I'd love to know what you think of this. Is this something you consider adding to your collection? Let me know in the comments. And as I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below for those of you that want to get your hands on one. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for loads more reviews and unboxings of some of your favorite watch releases. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.